What is up everyone? Welcome to my video. I hope you guys learned something. Now before I, before I get into anything, what I will say is that it might seem daunting, it might seem like a mission, but if you just put in that little bit of effort at the start, it's definitely going to come back uh, tenfold at the end when you've got this awesome piece of um, data in front of you that you can look at anytime you like, you can refer to whenever you want, and it's a complete overview of your whole entire diet. Any mistakes that you've made, you're going to be able to see, and any progress that you make, more importantly, you're going to be able to see why and how you've made that progress. So, it's not for everyone, okay, but personally, I am just coming into my first ever show. Um, I invested money into buying, into getting a coach, and so from that day, I started here at day one and started tracking my diet completely. So I use the app MyFitnessPal. Um, you can get that from MyFitnessPal.com. Sorry, that's not it. MyFitnessPal.com. Or you can go on the app store and just look up MyFitnessPal. It's an absolutely epic app. It's got, it's got scanning capabilities. You can just scan, scan all your food items and it automatically goes in. You just choose how many serves you've had. Or you can go through and type them in. Um, or if your food isn't in the database, which I have never come across a food that is not in the MyFitnessPal database, but if it's not there, then you can also just add protein, fats, and carbs just as a number and as a value. All right, so first of all, I'll just run you through exactly how I set it up. So, I mean, knowledge is key here, guys. I'm sure everyone on a diet would want this in front of them, would want to be able to have a snapshot of their entire diet, but... I think knowledge is probably the only thing that's missing. And it's very easy, guys. I've used Excel um, in my work. I've used it at school, but I've never done a proper course on it. And I've only, I only used two little, um, two little calculations in this, in this table to make all of these values work. And I'll show you that now. So first thing I did was come across the top and put make up columns of everything you want to track. So I should probably put day in here too. Um, oh, fuck it. No, don't worry about that. Um, right, so first thing I did was come across here and put columns of every single thing that I wanted to track. So there's only five things, at, well, sorry, six things at the, at the present time, and that is calories, first of all, protein, which are my two top things that I want to track, because I think as far as fats and carbs go, you can sort of make those up as you go, but protein and calories are going to be exactly what uh, gets you the results and what maintains the muscle. So we've got calories, protein, fat, carbohydrates, sugar, and fiber. We've got the three macros and the two micros that I want to track. And then coming down here on the uh, horizontal axis, we've got the days. And each week has seven days, and then at the end of each week, we've got averages. And whatever's in these columns, this value in bold down here, and in italics, is the average of these seven values. And then what I can do is, once I've put in all the, value, all the uh, calculations and values, I mean, these all said zero at the start, but what I did was I came over here, and I right-click, uh, copy, come over here to this space here, right-click, and press paste and then that will come up like that. It'll be the same values as what is, what is in here, but all of the uh, calculations that are in the bottom, uh, the bottom boxes here will be the exact same calculations. So how I do that, guys, is I come over here, and to get the average of these seven days, I come down here, I go equals average, open bracket, drag all of these things here, or any values that you want to get the average of, close bracket, and enter. And that is the average there. And what you can do is when you, if you want the averages, uh, the, the same, what am I trying to say? If you want the same calculation to be in all of these boxes over here, all you have to do is grab that and drag it along. And so all of the, these are obviously already, already have the calculation in there, but now all of these boxes along here, are the average of the seven boxes on top. So, as you can see guys, this first week, 
I averaged 2,756 calories, 220 gram, 228 grams of protein, 77 fat, 297 carb, which is probably higher than what I wanted, 82 sugar, and 38 fiber. And then, so obviously, coming into the second week, I thought, shit. Well, actually, exactly what happened was I, I was meant to be on 2,500 calories, 250 carb, 80 fat, and 220 protein. I went back to my coach after this first week and gave him these these values, thinking, oh yeah, it's all right, you know, I'm only 250 calories over per day, and he absolutely like, just <laughs> came back at me and said, what the hell are you doing? You know, that's that's not good enough. If you really want to come into a show, you've got to really tighten things up, and clearly. That's exactly what I did the second week because the average of the second week was 2,519 calories, which is actually slightly over what I was meaning to do again, but obviously I tightened things up and I can see how I did that, which was go slightly higher in fat, but lower in carbs to keep my satiety levels uh, higher. Fiber was still pretty good, sugar was a bit lower, and uh, we move on. So from there, I've gone on week three, week four, and week five. Um, and this, this uh, document is really starting to take shape now. So what I wanted to show you guys as well is over this side. First of all, I just did the six mac, the calories, protein, fat, carbs, sugar, and fiber, and averages over a week. And then what I did was I went and bought a Fitbit, and I started counting my steps. So not only do I have all of these categories over here, but I've also got a steps and a calories burnt category. Just for my information, I really don't trust the Fitbit, but as far as you know, making this document more um, comprehensive, it's not a bad idea. So down here, uh, on day 17, I started tracking my steps. So from that day forward, I've tracked my steps every single day. Now, if any of you have a Fitbit, you'll know that it calculates your resting metabolic rate, um, and it calculated mine at 1920 something calories, which I thought was actually bang on. I thought my met resting metabolic rate would be more, but it actually turns out it's probably not. So from that day, I actually started trusting the Fitbit, and it's given me these values over here, because what happens is it calculates your resting metabolic rate throughout the day, and then any calories you burn through movement, um, on top of that, it'll add on. So then at the end of the day, you've got a total value of calories burnt per day. And that is what this, this column, calories burnt. So I've got steps and calories burnt, and I can get that value each day as well. So now I've got eight columns. So as well as that, you come over here, I've actually got whether I weight trained on the day. So that's going to, I don't have you know, from the start, I was actually saying exactly what body part I was training on the day, but now I don't. I just say yes or no. So as you can see from the start, I love my weight training. I've had one day off um, in the past five weeks. So that's just me, and um, that's just how it goes. Now, body weight, I put in that too. So I started at 92.5. I really, really regret not, not weighing my body weight every single day. Um, I went through a stage where if I wasn't having a new low, I wasn't tracking it. So I only tracked it once that first week, once that second week, twice the third week, th uh, twice the fourth week, and once last week. And this week, I've been having new lows. So uh, I've still got my data to enter for this week here and all of these values, but we'll do that. And then finally, guys, Finally, I know, I've I know I've kept you for ages, I just want to show you everything. So finally, once I started uh, getting the calories in versus calories out values, why not make another column giving me the exact value day to day, calories in versus calories out. So that's exactly what I did. Here is the column here. We come down to the first day that I started with my Fitbit. I burnt 4,218 calories. I took in 2,976 calories. So we come over to here, calories in versus calories out, total deficit of 1,242 calories that particular day. Now obviously it's not linear, but to have a value like this in front of you to have a look at every single day is pretty awesome. Um, as you can see coming down here, it's been 
up and down. Um, three days of deficit there, pretty heavy deficit. Goes into deficit, surplus, deficit, deficit. A heavy surplus, I had a bit of a binge that day. Made up for the next day, as you can see. Blah, 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 it goes on. So to make this value here, I'll show you. So we go, what well, all we want to do, it's really easy. You go equals, uh, and then we'll come over here to the calories in. We'll go that value there. So it equals that, minus that, enter. And that gives me that. And once again, if you want all of these boxes to hold the same uh, calculation as the one in here, you just go like that. And all of these have already been done. So, yeah. So guys, I hope you learned something. Check me out on Insta at Jake Does Fitness, or you can check me out on my fitness pal at Jake Does Fitness. Or better yet, you can subscribe. <laughs> um, subscribe for more. You know, I'm an average guy with above average ambitions. Trying to make something out of this one short life we have to live and trying to help people along the way. So uh, who knows whether I will have competed by the time you see this video. 17th of October 2015 is when I'm competing for the first time ever. That is the reason why I set up this whole diet spreadsheet and it's the reason why I'm sharing it with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Peace out.